This is an exciting time of year for kids, but some parents can dread it, this one included, when you try to think about the daily grind of making a healthy lunch. For your health, your life, your health, new specialist Ashley Moses is going to give us the ABCs of packing a lunch. Lunchtime, time to refuel the body. But packing that meal can be a daunting task for parents. We tried to make it fun for the kids. So we asked two Intermountain Healthcare dietitians to help parents pack a lunch with a healthy punch. We put ABC together, A being for added sugars, B for balance and C for color. When it comes to sugar, the American Heart Association says children should eat less than 25 grams of added sugars daily. That means parents need to read the labels. Juices for kids should be 100% juice and stick to the four ounces. And then here with the fruit cup, we do no sugar added or if it's sweetened in its own juices. Look for unsweetened applesauce and stay clear of most sports drinks and sodas can see here that the Dr. Pepper, you know, this is a 20 ounce container, has about 64 grams, so that's really too much for kids. The American Heart Association says 91% of U.S. children have a poor diet, and children who eat foods loaded with added sugars tend to eat fewer healthy foods. These habits lead to an increased risk of heart disease. So balance, you can kind of look at the lunches that we had prepared here, and in each one you'll find there's a whole grain, so in these ones, for example, we have pretzels, crackers, whole wheat bread, bagel, and then a whole wheat tortilla. Part of the balance also includes hitting all four food groups. For dairy, you can throw in chocolate milk or a squeezed yogurt. Next up, color. And the color is important because that's where you're getting different vitamins and minerals that are present in the different colors of the fruits and vegetables. And if you have a picky eater, you have to get creative with ants on a log or an apple peanut butter sandwich. There's lots of options, but keeping it so they have fun with it and then they're less likely to get the Snickers bar and the bag of chips at lunch. Making sure they're refueled for classroom success. Ashley Moser, KSL 5 News. Thanks, Ashley.